once again I'm hitting you guys up with some ASMR this video I'm gonna ramble I'm gonna talk about my day but first thing is I want to tell you guys a funny story um, from today it pretty well just happened right now like not literally but it happened like two hours ago so it's fresh in my mind it's kind of why I wanted to do this recording now and not um, wait till tomorrow or whatever because it's fresh in my head I don't want to oversell it and then it's an underwhelming story but I, I thought it was quite funny and hopefully it um, trans translates well into an ASMR video because some things you gotta enunciate on and you gotta talk in a normal voice to really get a story across but I think it'll it'll still quote unquote sell and be funny in an ASMR video but maybe not as much um, as a regular video I can repost another regular video a vlog post um, about it and if you're new to the channel I don't only do ASMR I do normal voice vlog posts on here as well and I do nature videos and other things but anyways um, as some of you know I work a couple jobs um, for people that are new here um, I work a maintenance job and then I also work in a theater at night um, it's well it's an art center and, and also a theater I have anyways the point being is there was this presentation today and we have these um, volunteers that come in and they work kind of as ushers and they're typically older ladies like elderly ladies that want to um, see the shows for free and then they can just usher people along with the flashlight um, their feet um, don't don't step there step here here's your seat number and then they get to watch a show for free um, which is a really good deal for them and you know Godspeed to them because that's that's a really good deal um, it's, uh, it's it obviously doesn't pay like if, if they're not good financially or they don't have a pension they're gonna have to do something during the day obviously but um, it's a good deal for them it, it's it's social it's, it's nice to see them and I, I have a good rapport with pretty much all of the um, the volunteers I, I like um, basically chatting with them and um, they're interesting and they have both personalities some of them and um, my other job is a retirement building and they have some bold personalities in there too like old people are older or senior whatever the preferred term is get kooky sometimes and anyways so um I, I've, I've basically rambled a three minute build up to this and it's literally a 20 second story so my apologies for that but anyways um one of the volunteers um was talking to me in the theater and um we were kind of just chatting and then this other lady comes in and she was someone who bought a ticket to the presentation or the, uh, the thing and um the volunteer um who's maybe 61 62 maybe a bit older um she she's like oh my god oh my god hello 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 and she gives a hug to this other lady who's around the same age um and it looked like she was with her husband and they were going down towards the seating they hug and they were smiling and they were so friendly to each other oh my god how are you why what, what are you doing oh my god is uh and they were smiling and laughing and they they were chatting for a little bit it wasn't a big conversation it wasn't a huge discussion it was like maybe 30 seconds and i didn't eavesdrop on the contents of it um but it was very cordial they were happy to see each other they were smiling they were laughing and then um the lady with the ticket walked down the um the aisle to get her assigned seating and the, the volunteer the, turned to me and she says that's my new neighbor i don't know her well i think her husband's an alcoholic and i'm like what the fuck i'm like you you cheeky bitch <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god like it was <laughs> it was crazy like okay my normal voice was coming out there for a minute my bad but um it was just the most blatant um two-faced thing i've ever seen well not literally ever ever seen but i can't think of something more blatantly 
two face than that off the top of my head right now. It was just because they were smiling, they were laughing, um, they seemed like good friends. And she turned to me and she says, "That's my new neighbor. I don't know her well. I think her husband's an alcoholic." And like, what do you say to that? I'm like, I'm like, oh well. And then she, like, I was kind of like, like confused. I'm like, what the fuck? And she, she elaborates, I think he's a retired doctor. And I was like, oh, maybe he, he sees, saw some crazy traumatic stuff in the ER or something like that. I don't know how to say, respond to that. But it was basically like Mean Girls, Lindsay Lohan. Like it was that. Um, and she was put together quite well. Like she seemed like she might have been a popular kid in high school or whatever. Kind of a mean girl. And... Um, like if I saw like somebody my age just doing that, I'd be like, well, that's not cool. But there was something to it at the, at the advanced age. Like it was kind of like, I'm watching this show, um, called the Outlaws and, um, it's a British crime comedy and Christopher Walken is in that, um, show and he's like an old con man and, like, he's kind of lovable in that, um, role, even though he's doing these antisocial behaviors, um, but you like him, you like the character, but then when they do the cutscenes back to when he's, like, 30 or whatever, and he's leaving his family, then you're like, oh, well, that's, that's shitty, but it almost seems when you get to be, like, a senior, you get almost a free pass sometimes, because it, it, it becomes almost like a living comedy, it becomes like, oh my god, they're like in their 60s and they're still acting like they're 16. Like, you know, it's, it, it, there's something psychologically that it becomes funny. And I don't know how to really articulate that, but it, it was kind of funny to me that that happened. And I actually texted my sister about it and she laughed. Well, I think she did. She said LOL, but that was. It was something that I wanted to share in this format with you guys. Um, I don't know if any of you found it funny or interesting. Um, I thought it was both. And um, if you did find it funny, that's great. Um, hopefully you found it relaxing too, because that's also the point. Maybe I shouldn't even be saying jokes in the ASMR. I don't know. I'm somewhat new to this, and I'm just kind of shooting from the hip. Um, but it was an interesting story, I thought, and it was it was funny, and I laughed um, afterwards. I didn't laugh in her face, but it was pretty funny and kooky, and it was nice. And to bridge this back to The Outlaws, um, that's a show that I've been watching, and I've been kind of staying up too late doing the binge-watching, which works out because I do work nights um but it also doesn't work out because I like to wake up early and I'm trying to get my circadian rhythm to wake up early and kind of cut down on my sleep a little bit which maybe isn't the healthiest but like I'm not saying that I'm going to only sleep for like four hours but I've been going past seven and I've been trying to limit that a little bit but um my body usually likes about nine, um, eight or nine, um, seven, maybe six and a half is kind of, um, reasonable, I think, but I'm trying to find a, a medium where I can wake up a little bit more, uh, a little bit earlier to be having a, a more productive morning, um, to get my gym routine or whatever out of the way faster so I can do other things. Um, so I think I'm going to watch the show today, but I really have to kind of be disciplined and only watch one but then if I, I watch one and it kind of gets my head going like my dopamine dopamine or whatever I don't even know if it's a true dopamine response or if that's just kind of the, the fad about talking about dopamine now like but I want to watch one probably um before bed after I record this and then I'll probably upla upload this tomorrow um which makes no difference because when when you guys see it is when you guys see it it doesn't it, it's not a live feed it's 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 pre-recorded and I, I might do I might do a live feed in the future um I've talked about it before um I think I'm 
I'm still a little bit short of subscriber count to really have successful live feeds, but it would be interesting. Um, I don't know if I would do live feed ASMR. I might do just normal talking um, live feed when I when I get to that point on this channel. Um, but it might be soft spoken. I could have a singing bowl there too. Like I'm I'm open minded with it, but. I think what I would want to do with the live feed is kind of ask the audience questions rather than have the, the audience ask me questions. I think I would want it because that's the typical kind of streamer um, ASMR vlogger format is people do the ask me anything and they ask the uploader things. But I'd, I'd, I'd want to re you know, reverse that and ask you guys stuff or kind of have you guys um, come up with kind of topics for future videos or something like that and kind of have a bit more of a, a discussion about about stuff like that but um that's probably a crazy idea that won't work but um i'm just rambling and i'm kind of just shooting from the hip talking what's on my mind and i just wanted to really share that that story first and foremost i i think i'm going to ramble for maybe another five six minutes um, I'll end this with some well wishes and, um, I'll watch the show. Um, I do want to quickly mention somebody requested another singing bowl ASMR, um, video. Um, obviously that's not this one because I'm recording this now to get this story out of my head and into this channel. Um, but either the next or the one after, I, I'll bring the singing bowl back. Um, so I did hear your uh, request. It's a good idea. Um, if you like the singing bowl, let me know because I think so far only one, maybe two people said they like the singing bowl. And it, out of my ASMR videos, it has the lower view count. So um, if you want the singing bowl or like the singing bowl, let me know. Leave it in the comments. And um, it's good to get feedback like that so I know um, what's working and what's not, but because someone did recommend it, even, uh, even though I might not have a, a ton, I think I'll still do it, but, but still, um, let me know about that. Um, there are some other requests too that I'm going to go through. Um, some of them I, I can get to, some of them might not. Um, I'll, I'll see. I, I got to look through them and, um, decide what I'm going to be filming this week and um, kind of where I want to take the ASMR videos. I think this one was good because I shared the story, which it might not hit at all. Like people might not find that funny at all. So if, if you don't find it funny, at least maybe it's relaxing. So anyways, um, what else? Um, today I went to well, both my jobs. I did the first job, which was kind of like vacuuming and, and doing leaves at, at like this retirement building. Um, the other maintenance guy is kind of beefing with me a bit there. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Um, usually I have good co-workers and um, to be completely honest, sometimes I can be difficult too. Um, sometimes if I have a misunderstanding, um, like I always go, um, tit for tat with people and I kind of mirror people's energy. And if a coworker gives me really bad energy, um, it's hard to give good energy back. And if they're somebody that's been there for longer and now you're in like a pissing contest with someone who's your superior or something that's kind of what 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 it's at at my other job so that might be a problem in the future i i don't know but um my this is my that maintenance job that i was talking about the leaves which is the problem with which is the one with the potential beef um that's the job where i get less hours at it's the newer job that i'm kind of just doing on the side and the the job that i said um with the funny story is my main job so that job I've been there for like more than three years and I'm the most senior guy there and people seem to like me and that's the job that I like more so that would be the job I'd be more concerned about losing the, the other job if, if I have some kind of misunderstanding that has snowballed into some sort of passive-aggressive 
pissing contest. I mean, it kind of is what it is. I don't make a lot of money from that job. Um, I don't like getting fired either, though. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't think I'm actually going to get fired. I'm just overthinking. Um, that's, it's, it's a strange job, that one, because, uh, I don't know what I'm even saying at this point. It's not that strange of a job. It's, it's decent. Um, but yeah, um, I'll probably end up going to the gym tomorrow. And, um, I stumbled up there and now I'm, I don't know what to say now. Um, but, um, bum, 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 bum. yeah, I'll go to the gym tomorrow and I'll do the singing bowl videos and I'm probably not going to get fired. That's probably an overreaction, um, because I'm still doing the work and that's something that I noticed is if you're at a job and you can stay in form and you don't buckle to bullshit, if you're actually doing the work, it's it's hard to get fired unless they're really in the boss's ear and they have like a really like a crazy vendetta against you, which is possible and has happened. Um, there is a lot of inner circles and, and um, you know, gossip and office politics and stuff like that, but I don't know if that's going to be the case in this situation. Um, so, I'm going to eat some dinner after this. I'm going to watch this show. I'll upload this tomorrow. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. I have a big chores day tomorrow. I have to do the dishes. I have to do the laundry. I have to vacuum. I have to clean up. And, um, I might put some more air into my tires in my car. They're a little low. It's not like an emergency. I'm not going to have the fucking tire, you know, go on the rim and then fucking swerve off into the uh, ongoing traffic and get hit by a semi and have it blow up or anything. Like, it's not an emergency. I don't need to do it tomorrow. But if the weather is, is fine, it would probably make sense to do it now and get it done with before it turns to winter. And then I'm out there, you know, doing it in the winter, which is going to suck way worse than doing it tomorrow, so I'll probably end up doing it tomorrow. Um, speaking of the winter, um, we're almost halfway through no November. Christmas is going to be right there. Um, crazy. Um, I guess that Halloween to Christmas transition is actually pretty quick when you think about it, because there's a lot of people, at least here, they complain that the Christmas decorations go up too fast. I don't know if that's where, how it is where you're at, but... A lot of people complain about that here, and um, it is pretty quick, so you might as well put them up and enjoy it. So, now that I'm thinking that, kind of out loud, I haven't even thought about Christmas until just blurting that out just right now. Um, I might get the Christmas decorations up this weekend, why not? You know? Um, I don't have a real tree, I have a fake tree. Uh, it's in the closet over there. Um, I've used it every year for 10 years. Um, there's somewhere and there on it, but it's pretty good. Um, I kind of want a real tree right now, just for the smell, um, but I'm not actually going to. Um, it's a hassle. Um, I live in an apartment. I don't have a truck. Um, if I had more of like a if I had a property, I think it'd be easier. And if I had a property, I think I'd be decorating trees outside too, like in the yard. I got pretty deep into Christmas decorations last um, season. Last Christmas, I put lights up all like around the roof, like, and you know, I had jingle bells over doors and I had like, oh, 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 Santa's out. I went to the dollar store and I kind of, I think I, I blew like a thirty dollars, uh, thirty dollars, um, like it was a casino, like I was making it rain in there or whatever. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna go all out that this season, but I could do a slow roll. I could do that. I could put the tree up in one go, and then you know, once or twice a week between having the tree up and Christmas, I could put up one or two new things. I could just.
just, you know, do a slow roll and do it gradually. Um, might be nice. So, anyways, we are now at the end of the video. I stumbled up a few times in the video, which I'm not going to edit out. I, I don't edit these ASMR videos that are one and done. I think it keeps them more authentic. And, um, I also hope that you like that little bit of a joke, a little bit of storytelling in the beginning. I know I kind of expanded it pretty long there, and it might have been underwhelming, but it's, it's interesting that stuff like that goes on even with seniors, and it was just such a blatant backstab. Like, she literally was, like, not even, like, ten feet away, and she just turns, pivots and turns to me and just shits talks. It's like this old lady for no fucking reason. It was, it was insane. Like, I was, I was actually, like, taken aback by it. I was like, what the fuck? Um, which now tells me not to tell this lady anything about myself. Because you can't trust somebody that will just do that. Like, you, I know as a fact now. Like, if I'm having a bad day, I'm not, I'm not telling her about it. I'm keeping everything to myself. Because she's, she's a little bit, um, of a gossiper. So you gotta have your cards uh, close to your chest with these people and it's funny um man I, I love the older people there the volunteers they're they're all they're all characters they're so maybe that's another thing too it's like you acquire your swagger and your sauce through you know lived experiences and when you get to be like 60 to 70 you're so ingrained and lost in the sauce um you're so complete of who you are that it's 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 something else it's something else entirely and it's a time capsule too because it's from another generation and you can kind of just contrast like to this generation and then think where they were when they were your age and it's like like this lady was probably like behind the bleachers making fun of people in school i don't know if she's a cheerleader or, or what but it reminded me of Lindsay lohan mean girls it was, it was funny though um it makes you wonder and think um so yeah we're at the end of the video um my bad on the stumble hopefully you enjoyed that um and i hope that you guys are doing really well um thanks for watching this thanks for supporting the channel we crossed 8,000 subscribers on the channel, um, and my returning viewers keeps going up. Um, I had a thousand returning video, uh, returning viewers this week, so it's like one in eight are now um, clicking the bell or whatever it is and actually coming back. So I have a bit of a platform here. I'm not really saying um, a whole lot. I did have some political videos back in the day, but. I might still do a little bit of those as well, but um, I thought that was a funny experience. I wanted to share it. I shared it with my sister. Um, God bless everyone. Like and subscribe if you like this and want to subscribe. Um, I end all the videos kind of saying like and subscribe just because I watch videos and that's how everyone closes their videos. Um, if you don't like and subscribe, it's like I'm not mad. And then if you're going to, you you would have anyway, so I don't need to say, but, like, I've seen so many YouTube videos, and they all end that way, so I guess I just ended that way, too, but anyways, um, take care of yourself, drink water, um, take care of your loved ones, too, look out for each other, and, um, be nice, be nice to people, um, don't do this backstabbing two-face thing, like this story that I shared, um, anyways, uh, 24 minutes in. I'm going to close it up now. I'll probably record another one tomorrow. Queue them up. Have maybe two or three of these in a week. I don't know. Maybe more. Maybe less. And see where it goes. Um, hopefully it was relaxing. Peace out.